This weekend, the Sugaring Off Festival takes place at the museum in St. Pierre Jolie. Rolly Gagne, a museum volunteer, describes some of the different activities going on. We've got a great joie de vivre and a nice Sugaring Off Festival, and it's all history based. We've got different time frames happening. Uh, we've got a classroom setting of 1938. We have the military soldiers of 1740s, 1780s. We've got the Metis House, which is dating back to. 1870. We also have uh, different uh, fi uh, uh, French films uh, displays. Uh, we have uh, arts. Uh, we have crafters that are doing there. We've got the Crow Wing Trail that you can walk on. Uh, we've got horse-drawn uh, rides. We have uh, taffy on the snow. Yes, we do have snow and we do have taffy on the snow. And it's just fantastic. We've got lots of things happening, lots of historical old-time music, uh, fiddling, a little bit of everything. It's really, really a nice family fun event. Rochelle Edmonds, St. Pierre Jolie Museum Secretary, explains the name behind the festival. It's time of year where, well, earlier this year we would have collected uh, maple syrup and uh, we have our Manitoba maples that provide maple syrup similar to Quebec, a bit different, but uh, we have many maple trees, so uh, we figured, well, why not uh, make a festival? She also says that it is important to remember the past. It's important to reflect back from where we, we come from and just to pass on and to show, uh, you know, what our culture is like. And uh, we live in such a fast-paced world out there that we have a tendency of moving towards technology and forgetting who we are, you know, and where we come from. Eddie Cormier attended the Sugaring Off Festival and he says he brings his grandkids every year. Oh, it's always fun to come around and uh, this time of the year and the spring's coming up, so yeah, it's good. Reporting for Slamback Online, I'm Luke Reimer. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>